and welcome to the session. I'm Kanika and I'm going to help you to solve the following question. The question says a chord of a circle is equal to the radius of the circle. Find the angle subtended by the chord at a point on the minor arc and also at a point on the major arc. Before solving this question, we should first be well versed with theorem 10.8 and theorem 10.11 given in your NCERT book. Theorem 10.8 states that the angle subtended by an arc at the center is double the angle subtended by it at any point on the remaining part of the circle. This theorem means that if we have a circle in which arc AB subtends angle AOB at the center and angle ACB at point C on remaining part of the circle, then Angle AOB, that is angle subtended by arc AB at the center, is 2 times angle ACB, that is angle subtended by the same arc AB at point C on remaining part of the circle. You should also know that a quadrilateral ABCD is called cyclic if all the four vertices lie on a circle. And theorem 10.11 states that the sum of either pair of opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral is 180 degree. This theorem means that angle A plus angle C is equal to 180 degree and angle B plus angle D is equal to 180 degree. The knowledge of these two theorems is the key ideas in this question. Let's now begin with the solution. Let's first make a diagram of this question. We have drawn a circle whose center is at O. Now in the question... We are given that a chord of a circle is equal to the radius of the circle. So let AB be the chord of this circle and O is the radius of this circle. Now, it is given to us that AB is equal to OA. So, we are given that OA is equal to AB. Now in construction, we will draw a line through O which joins O to B. So let's now join OB. Now, OA is equal to OB because they are radius of the same circle. And we are given that OA is equal to AB. Let's name this equation as equation number 1 and this as 2. Now from 1 and 2, we have OA is equal to OB is equal to AB. Right? OA is equal to OB is equal to AB. So this implies triangle OAB is an equilateral triangle. Right? And since triangle OAB is an equilateral triangle, therefore each angle of this triangle is of 60 degree. Right? And hence angle AOB is equal to 60 degree. Now look at the question again. We have to find the angle subtended by the chord, that means by AB, 
at a point on the minor arc and also at a point on the major arc. Let C be a point on the major arc AB. Let's now join C to A and C to B. So now we have to determine angle ACB. Now since R AB subtends angle AOB at the center and angle ACB at point C on remaining part of the circle Therefore, angle AOB is equal to 2 times angle ACB by theorem 10.8 which we have learnt in key idea and which states that the angle subtended by an arc at the center is double the angle subtended by it at any point on the remaining part of the circle. Now angle AOB is equal to 60 degree. So we have 60 degree is equal to 2 times angle ACB. This implies angle ACB is equal to 30 degree. So angle subtended by the chord AB at a point on the major arc is 30 degree. Now we will find the angle subtended by chord AB at a point D on minor arc AB. Let's now join A to D and B to D. By joining A to D and B to D, we now have a quadrilateral A, A, D, B, C. Now as vertex A, B, C and D of coordinatural A, B, C, D lie on a circle Therefore, ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. Right. And this means angle C plus angle D is equal to 180 degree. Because sum of opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral is 180 degree.
we know that angle C is equal to 30 degree, right? So, 30 degree plus angle D is equal to 180 degree and this implies angle D is equal to 150 degree. So, angle subtended by chord AB at point D in the minor arc AB is 150 degree. Hence, our required answers are 150 degree and 30 degree. This completes the session. Bye and take care.